Ready to create your own animated digital countdown timer? I'm gonna show you how to create an amazing countdown timer that you can use for the start of your online class to welcome your students into the virtual classroom with ease. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos on online teaching and education that come out every single week. If this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Ashley Espinosa, and I've helped hundreds of educators transition to the online teaching platform. I'm so excited to help you take the frustration out of remote teaching. Let's dive straight into Canva. Now I'm gonna put my affiliate link below if you wanna check it out for free. If you have the pro version, though, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks along the way. So two different ways that you can do this. First way is the way where if you want to make this a video and you want to turn it into an MP4 and slide it right into your Google presentations, your Google Slides, your keynote presentations, whatever slides that you use for your class, this is how you do that first. And then I'm gonna show you the fancy way, the way that I do it and show you my newest one next. So all we're going to do is go up to the top right where it says create a design, click create a design. We're going to type in video. Okay. And then click the video element. After we do that, we're going to open up a blank video page. Now then go over to the left hand side. We're going to click on elements, a couple ways you can do this, but let's check this out first. You can put in timer or countdown timer. And here's the one that I use and it's free. This black one right down over here. Now click on that. It'll add it in. And if you're wanting something different and fancy, you know, scroll through here, see if there's something that works better for you. You could even type in countdown timer and search it and see what comes up. If you have the pro account, here's a little upgraded tip. Go to the left hand side where it says videos and you can search timer or countdown timer. And there's a ton of really cool ones here as well from all kinds of links and all kinds of styles, but they're all pro. So you do have to have the pro version to use those. So I'm going to go with the free version. This is what, the one I use. So after we do that, click on it and we want to crop it. So click the little scissor tool at the top left hand corner. After you click that, you can make this whatever time you like. So you can just drag and drop it from the left hand side. I do five minutes. That's just because I'm teaching college students and when I jump into the class, I start a couple of minutes early. That way if they come in early, they're seeing what I'm going to show you that I do on my slides at the very beginning versus just me starting class on time and I'm just waiting around. Also, why I like to do five minutes is if I start this a couple minutes before the class starts at 8 a.m. and I jump on a couple minutes early and get this started, that gives them two or three minutes after the actual start time of class to be welcomed in before I jump on and get started. The virtual world is totally different, so it kind of brings them in with ease, and I'll show you how I do it as well in my classes here in a sec. So, Scooch it down to whatever you need, two minutes, three minutes. If you're doing this for a break, you could do ten, the full 10, whatever that you need it for. Maybe you're giving them an assignment and you want to give them a little countdown timer, whatever you need. So let's go with the full 10. Why not drag this open to the entire space? Great. There's your full video timer. Simple, easy, done. Go up to the top right where it says download, click download and you want MP4 video, click download and that's going to download to your desktop and you can take that MP4 video and then you can just insert it into however you have your slides. That way when you go to present it at the beginning of your class, you already have your slides in order ready to go. If that works for you by sharing your screen. Now let me show you what I like to do. But before I do that, let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite way to break the ice for your online class? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to see what you come up with and share, but let me show you kind of what I do now. So what I do is I'm going to go back to Canva. I'm going to click create a design and I'm just going to open like presentation, whatever comes up for you. Normally, normally the top one is presentation, click presentation. Like you're creating a slide. If you use Canva for slides, blank page. What I do is I'm going to first go back over into my elements. I want to grab that timer. I use this one for everything. Okay. And I don't want it to be the full size. So I'm actually going to delete it and then just kind of do it small on the side. Okay. I'm going to make it small so it's not so big because when they pop onto my zoom class, I don't want it to be counting down like huge in their face, giving them anxiety. So I'm going to put it in the top left hand corner here. I'm going to go over to the left hand side. I'm going to click background. Okay. And I like to do black by just clicking the black color. Now you can click anything else. If you want it to be, 
you know, in the pattern or design of your class or the feeling if you teach kids or if there's a theme that day, you know, pick whatever you want. You could play around with the timer design too, like I showed you earlier. But I like black, simple, clean, sleek, and I'm teaching college adults, so this kind of just works for my vibe. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left-hand side, pick some text, and I want to give them a little bit of instruction at the beginning of class. So you can pick any of these fancy ones you want down here. I'm just going to go simple for the sake of time. I'm just going to click subheading. I'm going to make it big and I'm going to type in welcome. Now I'm going to show you my exact one here in a second, so stand by, wait for it. But I'm going to show you how I do it first. I'm going to click welcome and I'm going to put that on the right hand side. Then I'm going to go down below that, get another text, and I'm gonna give them some instructions that they need for that class. And I update this as needed. So maybe it is um, grab your textbook and notes, okay? And then I'm gonna actually click on this and I'm gonna to go to the top hand corner up here where it says list and I can do bullets or I like to do numbers. So I'm gonna do number one, okay? Then I'm going to make another line here, automatically gives you the second one, and you know you can do some other information or instruction that you want them to have ready. And I'll, I'll normally do um, three, two or three, so instruction here, and then another instruction that's for, you know, specific for that day and that class. Okay, as many as you want. Then you can make this a little bit smaller. Then what you can do below that is give them anything else that you want them to know for that class. Like today we're going to be focusing on, you know, musical theater in 1950s because that's the genre, that's what I teach. Or whatever we're working on that in that class today, you could give them a topic of, you know, reminding you this is what we're working on today. That's what I do. Now let me show you my design. This is what I'm currently using right now. So you can see I have the timer up here on the left hand side. I have some cool funky text that says welcome. I'm excited you're here. Just a great way to do it without my face being on there. And this is what I do for my, again, college adults. Grab your coffee or water. Take a second to get set up for class, whatever that may be for them. And take a few slow, deep breaths. And I have a little arrow pointing to it over here on the side. And this is how I do it. When I jump into my, my class, I'll start a few minutes early, go up to the right hand side, I will click the present button. Standard is fine, I will click present. And this is exactly what you would see on my screen when you pop into my Zoom class. So you see as you come on that the student isn't rushing, that they're like, oh, okay, great, I'm here, it's on time, but I have a couple of minutes to do the things that I didn't do when I rushed to jump on, especially because I teach a lot of 8 a.m. classes. This is calming their anxiety and their nerves and easing them into the virtual classroom versus you know just popping on and seeing my face. It's also a great time that they can talk to each other. I play music, but it's just a great way to start class. I'll also create another one very similar to this for a break. So if the class is very long, I'll pop something up for a break so they can see it and I don't have to you know, jar them by saying two minutes left, when a one minute left, we're starting in two seconds. Great easy way to do it. If you need more help with online teaching, be sure to check out the playlist that I've got here for you next, which is online teaching tips and tricks. I will link it in the description box below for you. And as always, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I create new videos here on YouTube every single week about online teaching and education. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.